It's a bass. It's a walleye. No, it's a big perch. Oh. Yep. yep, that's right. I'm at Jimmy's Perch Powder Factory. I'm here because I had a question for them. Can I do a seven dip perch? They said, indeed, you can. It is possible. I'm going to attempt to do it. No man has done before. Woman, child, or anyone. Aaron already shaved seven stripes in his beard. I don't think I have enough space to do eight stripes, but uh, no one's done the seven dip. All right, all right. All right, all right. I like some cool. Hopefully we get these perch so we could actually use Jimmy's perch powder with some actual perch and really display how great this powder really is or isn't. That's the only way we're going to tell us by actually catching some perch and using Jimmy's perch powder with perch. Very wordy, but whatever. And we're going to try out the uh, new Garmin with all this VCR crap going on. There's so many wires. Uh, I just used my wife's hair clipper to keep the wires away from the boat. Yeah, three grand unit, but... Uh, we're still keeping it scuffed, you know what I mean? Let's send her. Full send anyway. Let's go. We need about 10 perch, 10 good ones. Big perch. For Jimmy's perch powder, not too big. Big perch. So foggy how it's really important to just drive slow because there could be a lot of guys out here. There's a lot of guys in the parking lot, so don't go full send here. One eighth send. Engine's running mint. Big perch. Big perch. Big perch. Oh, I dropped it. It was a giant. I just dropped a giant. Using a four inch Kai Tech and a three eighths head. I'm launching it. This thing gets huge bites. Just lost a super tank. Why do you see this next fish? I'm just like letting it go down. We're in 25 feet of water. These are super tanks. Insane. Just slammed it. There it is. I've got a big bait. It's gonna catch mostly big fish. Oh, I lost him again. Oh my God. Suck. At least we got the bait down. Now you gotta get the hook set down. There's another one. We're liking that big bait. Good eater. There you go. Ooh. First fish of the day. That's a nice one. There you go. First fish of the day. And it's a good one. I dropped one twice as big. First fish is 11, a chunky 11 and a quarter. There's another one. It's gonna get a super tank. I'm just like dropping it and let it tick, let it tick, and bang. And a Kai Tech and Gobi color. Let's go. Another nice one. Another scuffed up perch for Jimmy's perch powder. Sweet. We're gonna let some of these go. We get some really big ones. Then we're going to, um, I don't know. Jimmy's? That's the problem with this bigger bait sometimes. You're gonna miss some, but you're gonna get an average bigger fish. Just taking at it. Temperature is 44 degrees, 25 feet of water. If it was a little windier, I might go to like a 3 8 I might even try a 3 8 today. Another one. Oh, it's a super tank. Look at this. Holy cow. That's a super tank, bud. How big is that? Tank. 13 inch. That's our biggest so far, but it's a chunky. Genuine chunky. That's a super tank, bud. It's another one. Wow. I gotta check my line after a while. I don't want to bust off. I have to retie. I'm catching tank after tank here. This is unreal. This bite is so on. So it's not even funny. There's another one. It's gonna be too many tanks. Take what is given. 11 and a half inch here. Let's call Steve O. Hey, Depot, can I help you? What's up, Steve? What's yeah. going on? It's Tara. I need more of those four inch. They're all over it. You were right. It's gonna get ugly. Wow, stop and go. Another good eater on that donkey bait. Should we try a bigger head? Let's try a Hiroshi head. He makes weird heads. It's like a four sevenths or something. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna try that a little heavier. Sometimes a little adjustment like that. We could maybe get down there faster and catch more fish faster. I don't know, but we'll try it. 
I got six pound suffix braid and a six pound floral leader. This one can comb the depths a little bit faster. That's that smelt head, it feels perfect. Let's see if this gets bigger ones. I'm getting down a little faster so it's like wicked. This rod is a Zodius, like a bass rod, 273 ml. So it's a medium light seven foot three. There we go, Hiroshi head, it's doing the trick. Let's go. Perch powder, Jimmy, here I come. But this thing launches, which is beautiful. And these perch are big, big, big. Sometimes I'm stopping here. Stop and go, stop and go. Oh, got a tick. There it is. Oh, I missed it. Another hit. Did I get it? He ate it. That one ate it. Just reeled into him. There's another one. Oh, it's a big one, too. There it is. But yeah, you kind of just got to ease up on it. Can't swing and miss because it's a big bait, like I said. I'm literally sitting in one spot and just casting out here. And it's like they don't get spooked because you're in such deep water, which is awesome. A lot of times when you fish these shallow spots, there's all these boats out there. And when the fish boats get on them, you get on them for a while and they take off. But I've just been sitting in one spot on spot lock. It's ridiculous. And they just keep hitting. Life is good at the moment. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we're marking here. Look, they're down there. You can even see them on this graph. So we got them here. This rod is uh, one of my favorites. It's, it's a Legend Extreme 610 medium light. It's a drop shot rod, so it's got a little bit of a tip to absorb the bite. This one's a good one. Lucky I slowed down right there. As soon as I moved back to this, oh, look at this one. I don't want to snap off. I should have probably netted that. This is a super tank. Holy cow, look at the size of this thing. This is such a big fish. Oh, unbelievable. Huh? How big is it, really? Almost 13 inch, but boy, the girth on it. Wait till we get a 14 inch or something. It's gonna be a super tank. That's still big. Have not moved. One rod, one reel. You gotta play with the weight of that head, I'm telling you. It makes all the difference, I think. Sometimes for the worst, sometimes heavier is better. Sometimes lighter is better. It's not too much wind. It might be better if we had a big wind with that heavier head, but today, kind of good with that. There's another one, another big one. Is it big? Definitely this setup's been a bit better. Oh, it's big, it's big, it's nice. This is one we'll keep for Jimmy's perch powder, for sure. Jimmy, we're talking about perch. 39 hours of perch, here we go. It's hard when you're using these big baits sometimes. You just want to set and react, but they don't got it in their mouth. So sometimes it's good to just kind of reel into them. Slowing up near the boat's been good too. There it is. Got him. This is insane. There's another tank. There's another tank. This is insane. There it is. Another nice one. Boom. Let's go. Big perch. So I'm gonna go to this, gonna go to that quarter, gonna let this out the back. Big is perch. this the pattern? Oh yeah, this is it. This is the deal. Just gotta get that speed dialed. Big perch. It's the first fish on the stroll. So I just got the, uh, that's good techniques. Really good if you got kids. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. So yeah, just went, I got the trolling motor on constant on three. On constant Big three, perch. I'm going, my speed is what? 0.69 miles. So just crawling along and I'm just dumping spool in increments and just dragging her. This might be the way. This might be the way. Dumping spool. Gonna dump some more spool. There it is. It's another good one. Maybe. But this is another big one. Okay, it's not bad. It's starting to work. Oh yeah, it's working. Hey, let's stay on this. Both fish. Since I've done that, we got smaller ones doing the other stuff, but since I've done that, they've been all big. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of dumping, folding. And once I feel bottom, I kind of let it drag and then I just kind of pull muck off the bottom and tick as I go. So, yep, sick with it. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> three for three have been big since I've done the stroll. Look, it's eggs all over my boat. On the stroll. 
Sweet. That's a super tank, eh? Nice one. No eggs, though. It's losing its weight as we speak. This bigger bait is avoiding a lot of the smaller packs, and when one's big enough, bang. So you're not wasting any time. That's really getting some bigger fish. So I'm dragging this four inch bait with a quarter ounce at 0.7 miles per hour, and you're getting pack, 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 but when a big one grabs it, it's more of a toop, and you know it. Sweet, big fish deal so far. The stroll, big fish pattern. Gotta get that speed down a bit. Another one, it's gonna be big. This thing's getting the right bites, man. Here comes a tank. It's a bass, it's a walleye. No, it's a perch. Big perch. Oh, yeah, that's a tank. Whew. That's a giant. We just whaled it. We've got something going on here, for sure. Jimmy's perch powder, powdered. This is sick. Yeah, to be able to throw a bait this size and get those type of clocks, I love it. I'm more of a bite pervert. <laughs> I, like, I like bites in a certain way. <laughs> there it is. Like there's lots of them bumping it, but they can't hook on. I got a pretty big hook on this. That's a good one. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a fat boy. That's a deep, beautiful fish. Holy, what a day. Big perch. This has been my most fun way to catch them. Now right, here's a pair. Some of the big, big ones that we got. What a way to end. Perch, perch, perch. Jimmy's perch powder. Here we come. Let's go. Big perch. It has been a phenomenal day. Uh, we're going back, we're gonna do a little catch and cook with Jimmy's perch powder on some actual perch for the first time. And yes, we have some perch. Yeah, we've got perch. Things are looking good. It might be a little while before I make it home. Gotta figure out to get this trolling motor up. But uh, hopefully we see you in the kitchen. Good news. We made it back uh, with the trolling motor handle. We got the trolling motor up and we're back in the kitchen. We're gonna attempt to do what no man, woman or child has ever done before, a seven dip perch and fry it. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but uh, we're gonna give it a go. It's gonna be different. Let's go. I got the fillets already filleted and brined. Okay, I'm gonna take you over to the briner. There you go. Put this in salt water. That takes out any kind of fishy taste. It gives it a nice texture. And it's also like works as our first wet ingredient. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We might put layers of different wet ingredients on, uh, but I think we might go with the Frank's Red Hot. We're also gonna have a dessert with this. But first, let's do the seven dip. Woo. Anyway, okay, let's get going. So we're gonna take our filet out of the brine water, go right into the powder. That's dip number one. Okay, there's dip number one. Dip number two, we're gonna do in some of this Frank's Red Hot. Dip number two, we're going into Frank's, back into Jimmy's. Dip number three, I think we're gonna go back into the salted water and then into the powder. So we're gonna alternate water, powder, Frank's powder. But there's six coated, there's six layers on this. So here's number seven, I'm going back into the water. Number seven, the water's dripping, legit. Uh-oh, we just lost a chunk or two or three. <laughs> I'm going back in. We've got one fillet here, indeed gone through seven dips. Seven dipped perch. This thing's been dipped seven times. Did somehow manage to work. Okay, we're gonna go over the oil. Then you put your chopstick, wooden, it's gotta be wooden, and you can see it bubbling. Now you know, it's ready to go. This is a seven layer dip. It's going in. Labor intensive, messy so far. Will it be worth it? Tempura! Number one's coming out. Looks pretty intense, eh? Woo! This is the seven dip Frank's hot, red hot with brine water. They definitely look more like crab cakes than perch fillets, but uh, definitely looking good. Lucky we put the triple dip in. Is it worth doing the seven dip over the triple dip? We might try this with sriracha mayo. Ooh, it might be a nice touch. We do have it. Woo! Okay, we're gonna try this for dessert. 
O. Henry. And we're gonna dip that in the perch powder. Uh, I'm gonna call this recipe O. Jimmy. And uh, yeah, we're gonna dip that in milk, I think. Just if that's gonna be the wet layer. And then we're gonna put it in the perch powder, sweet and salty, you know what I mean? O. Jimmy, sweet and salty recipe. If you have peanut allergies, do not eat this. You will seize up. So yeah, don't eat this. That may even just fry this too. Is this even doable? I don't know. So I'm just gonna put milk in a little uh, Tupperware and I'm gonna roll the chocolate bar in that first. Weird. So we're rolling that in the milk and then we're gonna roll that in the powder, okay? We're gonna have to do another dough. It's not holding everywhere, but holding somewhat. Okay, the old Jimmy's ready. Let's dunk this in there. We're gonna take the old Henry coated chopsticks, bang into the oil. How long do we have to do that? That's the old Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy! I think the old Jimmy's done. You don't wanna over old Jimmy it. That's the old Jimmy. It smells like chocolate now. And there's our main course and there's our dessert. Okay, let's try this. Yup, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty excited here. I'm gonna use the sriracha mayo with the Jimmy's. All right, a little spice with the spice, the Franks. This is the seven dip, first bite. Really salty, really salty. Here with the sriracha mayo. The Frank's Red Hot, so good, but I can taste that taste and I like the spice, but a little bit too salty. I would say don't use so many Frank's Red Hot. Only one layer of Frank's Red Hot might change things up a bit, but I think if we used milk layers or more water layers to do the seven dip, I'm gonna try the three dip and see what happens. It really does taste kind of like a crab cake. Mm. With the Sriracha Mayo, really good, but a bit too salty. Okay, I'm gonna get the three dip. I can say this, at least we did seven dips and accomplish that. We're the first ones to do that, but does it have to be altered a bit? I think so, we're not there yet. Here's the three dip. Mm. The triple dip, way better. This is water, powder, Frank's, red hot, back to powder, way better. The three dip, and I think it's because I only have one layer of Fred, Frank's red hot. Now we're gonna go to the sweet. This is the uh, O. Henry, or the O. Jimmy. It's crumbling apart, I think it melted inside. That's so good. That's so good. Massive, but this works. You gotta try the Jimmy's with the old Henry. This is so good. It does have a little bit of salt, but more sweet kind of taste, but it melts, man. It's melting, melting as we speak. A real winner. Not good for your waistline. I'll probably be so fat after eating this. Y'all can call me triple chin. So I hope you liked today's episode and go to our link in the description and you will get 10% off if you use the code Perch powder on uh, Jimmy's Catch and Cook um, powder. Definitely interesting product you can use in a lot of different ways. So long, friends!